I'd like to begin with the uh, author. I'm going to uh, read a quote from his paper on World Trade Center 7, and he talks about the establishment of a collapse zone. The anticipation of collapse was a brilliant conclusion, and no lives were lost when the 47-story building collapsed about an hour and a half after the evacuation order was given. The BBC somehow misheard the orders to evacuate the collapse zone. The building had collapsed well before it actually did. Now, uh, Arthur, it sounds to me like this is an extraordinary feat by the fire department to avoid any more loss of life on this terrible day. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> especially when you abandon a building and there's an uncontrolled fire, there is a possibility of collapse, no matter what kind of building it is. If, if the fire is uh, bad enough and uh, the collapse zone is was like how many feet was it that's 600 feet just Six, about the height of the building 600 feet which was included buildings around that so they had to evacuate other buildings they had to evacuate everybody out of, the, out of the street so it was a big thing just getting everybody evacuated and uh, but it's standard procedure if you're abandoning a building and it's on fire now you that's might. what I wanted to touch on when you say it's standard procedure. The fire department deals with probabilities rather than certainties. In other words, when they decide that a building is unstable and liable to collapse, they don't know that it's going to collapse. They're just making a professional judgment. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Now that's that's a point that you've touched on a number of times. I, I remember in our debates with Jim Fetzer, you you were also talking about that. How do you construct any sort of conspiracy theory regarding the collapse of World Trade Center 7 that doesn't entail complicity on the part of the fire department? Yeah, this is something that, that the conspiracists just don't seem to get, although I've tried to drill it in many times in person. The very first time I faced any of them in person, uh, Les Jameson, the head of uh, New York 9-11 Truth, was claiming that the fire department got this word from above. Well, from above who? Uh, and he said, oh, oh uh, you know, the, the commissioner must have known, and et cetera, et cetera. Well, the bottom line is that the people on the ground, the people who were making those decisions, uh, weren't conferring with anyone else, nor did they take orders from anybody else. Uh, and I'm sure Arthur will back me up on that. that right. That the chief in charge of the building is in total charge of that building. He can evacuate it or do anything he wants with it. That's his responsibility. Yeah. So I've spent... They've spent a lot of time trying to take quotes out of context. I've spent, in, in that paper in particular, uh, lots of time putting them back in context and saying, this is what I've spent, in, in that paper in particular, uh, lots of time putting them back in context and saying, this is what I've spent, in, in that paper in particular, uh, lots of time putting them back in context and saying, this is what all the people who were there fighting that fire and determining the safety of the building think, and there are no dissenters. No one there uh, from any level uh, said that that was a bad idea to pull people away, said that they didn't think the building was going to collapse. Um, and in fact, there were people like demolition experts who were there who had come down after the towers collapsed who said we were absolutely sure the building was going to collapse um, because of the severity of the fires and the amount of the damage. So they're unanimous in that. No, they didn't know exactly when. But what was the prudent thing to do, to, to take people away from the building? And, and thank God they did. Uh, uh, potentially saved a lot of lives by doing that. And guys didn't want to leave the pile either. They didn't want to leave uh, the search for their, for their fallen and buried brothers there. So it took hours to get everybody away from there. 